Hey guys, it is me, Jacqueline, for today's video. I have my most anticipated book releases for 2017. These aren't all the books I'm most anticipating, but these are actually majority of them. I don't really have any for the fall time. I think actually the last book I mentioned is released in July. So probably mid-year in 2017, I will do sort of a part two and talk about the remaining sort of end of the year releases that I am most anticipating when it comes to 2017. The ones I am mentioning in this video are being released from January to July. I'm very excited about all of these so let's get on to my list. The first book I have to talk about is Under Rose Tainted Skies and this is by Louise Gournaud. This book comes out on January 3rd and is a YA contemporary book. In this book we follow our main character Nora who suffers from agoraphobia and OCD. In this book I believe there's also a little bit of a romance factor as well as a self-discovery aspect. I'm really excited. I have read some really positive reviews and I feel like I'm going to very much enjoy this book. So the next book I have comes out on January 10th and that is Rose Blood by A.G. Howard. This is a YA modern retelling of Phantom of the Opera. I do have a physical arc of this book so I will probably get my review up very soon for you guys. I do want to mention it though just in case if you haven't heard of it. The next book I have also comes out on January 10th and this is Poison's Kiss by Brianna Shields and this is actually this author's debut novel. This is a YA fantasy mythology book in which it's actually a Indian folklore retelling. In this book, our main character has the ability to kill people when they kiss them, and so she's actually ordered to kill various different people, but one day she's actually ordered to kill the person she loves. The next book I have is Care of All by Stephanie Garber. This book comes out on January 31st. I also have actually a physical arc of this book. I did want to mention this though, just in case if you haven't heard of it. This is a YA fantasy debut novel about a game called The Caraval. It is something that happens once every year and our main character is very much anticipating this game. She's always wanted to go to it and finally it is coming to her place where she lives but there's a little twist because her sister is now a part of the game and the only way she can win her sister back is to win the game. So we get to follow our character as she goes through the caraval and everything like that. Yet again, it is fantasy, so I'm expecting sort of fantastical elements. I've heard some very positive things about this book. A lot of people have been hyping it up, so I can't wait to read it. The next book I have also comes out on January 31st, and that is The Edge of Everything. This is by Jeff Gills. This is a YA fantasy book and I'm actually really excited for this book because it sounds so different. In this book we follow our main character Zoe as her and her brother actually attacked one night in the woods and then are saved by this bounty hunter they call X. And it is so different sort of this whole idea of this bounty hunter. I'm really intrigued over it. I can't wait to read it. Going on to February releases I'm going to start off with Winter Song and this is by S.J. Jones and this book comes out on February 7th. This is actually a retelling of one of my favorite movies which is called Labyrinth. If you've never seen it, it is so fantastic. I would highly recommend it. But I actually have an e-arc of this book. I cannot wait to read it just because I feel like I'm going to love it. I'll let you guys know what I think of it and I will actually try to post my review earlier so you can see if you want to pick this one up. The next book we have also comes out on February 7th and that is Traveler by L.E. Delano. This is another YA fantasy debut novel but this one actually involves time traveling. It also has pirates in it which y'all know I love. I can't wait to read it. It sort of sounds very interesting and I love reading debut novels. The next book I have also comes out on February 7th and that is Empress of a Thousand Skies and this is by Rada Beliza and this is another YA fantasy book. It is more science fiction though just because it does take place in space. Also in this novel we follow multiple different characters. I believe it's multiple POV but I've just heard really outstanding reviews. Some people have compared it as like Game of Thrones meets space and stuff like that. The next book we have I cannot wait to read because I don't think I've actually read a book that involves dragons. At least I don't remember. But this book is The Dragon's Price and this is by Bethany Wiggins and this one comes out on February 21st. It is a YA fantasy novel that is about dragons. I'm just gonna read this one sentence because I feel like it sort of wraps up what this book is about and this is what sort of got me to want to read this book. It says, this action-packed fantasy adventure about a girl who chooses to surrender herself to a deadly dragon rather than marry an enemy prince. Sign me up. The next book 
book I have is Daughter of the Pirate King and this is by Trisha Lemon Seller. This one comes out on February 28th and I cannot wait to read this one. I actually do have an e-arc of it. I got it from NetGalley and I cannot wait to read it because if you guys don't remember a couple months back I was sort of looking for pirate books and this one I discovered when I was searching on Goodreads and I have been anticipating it ever since. I cannot wait to read it. I will definitely have a review out for you guys. I feel like I'm going to love it so honestly I need to read it ASAP. The next book I have is Traitor to the Throne and this is by Alwyn Hamilton. This book comes out on March 7th and it's actually the sequel to Rebel of the Sands which I read this past year and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I have a whole entire non-spoiler review up on my channel. I felt like this ending, the first book anyway, got me really anticipating this sequel and I can't wait to pick it up and see exactly where this second book will lead us because I feel like this trilogy has so much potential. The next book I have is Hunted which is by Megan Spooner and this one comes out on March 14th. It is another YA fantasy book but it's actually a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It also has Russian folklore evolved into it as well. In general I feel like I'm going to very much enjoy this novel because our main character is actually a huntress hunting the beast. The next book I have is A Crown of Wishes which is by Roshani Chashki. This one comes out on March 28th and it's actually the companion novel to A Star Touched Queen which I absolutely loved. You guys know I genuinely found it. It was one of my favorite books of this year. I have a non-spoilery book review up on my channel which I will leave on the screen as well as down below. I'm really excited for this companion novel though because I did enjoy The Star Touched Queen so much and I feel like I'm also going to love this one. It's just something that has to do with Roshani Chashki's characters and her writing that really makes me fall in love with her work. The next book I have I am honestly so excited for. It is one of my top top anticipated reads for 2017 and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas which is the third and final book of part of the original A Court and Thorns and Roses trilogy from Sarah J Maas and this one is coming out on May 2nd. I have two separate book reviews for the first book and the second book a part of this trilogy and I cannot wait for this one guys. I will probably devour this book the same way I devoured A Court of Mist and Fury because once I have this in my possession I probably won't stop reading it. Another book that is coming out on May 2nd is Flame in the Mist and this is by Renee Audier. This is a whole new series that she's bringing out and it's actually when I'm getting sort of a Mulan retelling. Her other series is the Wrath and Dawn duology and that was sort of a Thousand and One Nights retelling so I feel like she does actually do retelling tellings very well. The next book I have is The Love Interest and this is actually coming out on May 16th. In this book we follow two separate guys. One is good, one is bad as they are both trying to pursue this one girl and then sort of during their pursuit they realize that they might actually like each other. It is taking place in this spy school which I find super awesome. I can't wait to read it. I actually believe this is also another debut novel. The next book I have I honestly cannot wait to have in my possession and that is is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. This one is coming out May 23rd. It is the second book of our The Dark Artifices series and the sequel to Lady Midnight which I absolutely loved. It was one of my favorite books in 2016. I'll leave my review on the screen as well as down below. Cassandra Clare is one of my all-time favorite authors. I will constantly support her and I cannot wait to see exactly what happens next in this series. The next book I have is another sequel and this is Now I Rise by Kirsten White. This is the sequel to And I Darken and this is actually the second book a part of the Conqueror Saga and this one is coming out on June 27th. If you haven't heard of And I Darken, pretty much it is a retelling of Vlad the Impaler but instead of Vlad being a boy, Vlad is actually a girl. I really loved the first book And I Darken so I cannot wait to see exactly what happens in this sequel. The last book I have is The Last Magician which is by Lisa Maxwell and this is coming out on July 18th. This is another YA fantasy book that involves time traveling and it's sort of a historical fiction because our main character goes goes back in time and it just sounds super awesome. It says in the little blurb, stop the magician, steal the book, save the future. And I actually really enjoyed Lisa Maxwell Unhooked. I really liked that book. I read it in 2015 actually but it came out in 2016 and so I can't wait to see what this book is all about. So those are the books I am anticipating for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you thought of it or let me know what books you are most anticipating in 2017. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!